Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Creative 47 YouTube channel. I'm getting ready to show you how I'm going to recreate this image because it's a little blurry and I have to blow it up just a little bit more. And I noticed that the black is kind of really, well, it's not bright. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this. So let's get started. So I'm just going to take the white background out first. I always do that in most of my videos that I um, come on, just in case I have new subscribers. So I'm going to go over here to the right. Sorry for that delay. It's late and I don't want to be too loud. So I thought I heard something. So I'm going to go to the right and click on the trace button here. I'm going to click on select trace area. I'm going to take that plus sign and drag my trace window over my image. And I'm just checking to make sure the outline is not broken, but I'm just going to go to my threshold here just to tap inside the box just a little bit. That is fine. Trace and detach here at the bottom. Click on this and move it hit delete on my keyboard and the white background is gone just gonna go over to make sure there ain't no little things left behind so now I need to do the trace um, select trace area again so I hit this button here go back over with the window and this time I'm going to do it again just a little bit inside and this time instead of trace and detach I just want to hit trace I just need the outline so I'm gonna move that image over but I'm not going to get rid of it because I need to use this color I don't need this anymore so now what I want to do is to break away every little piece in here so I'm going to right click and do a release compound path if you don't see it when you do a right click you can go up to object and you should be able to see it there I'm not it's object. Yeah, object. it should be there it's not there yeah here it go right here but I already done it so I don't have to do it again so now if I click on everything everything is in pieces everything so you want to be careful so I want to get the background which is this green is the background showing through and you know you have it when you go slow and your arrow change into a little finger and you can drag it over and I'm gonna change this to green so I'm gonna click on that go over to the right and click on the fill panel here and I'm gonna click on this dropper and take that dropper and just hover it around there and click on it and my circle changed to green and you notice the difference this is more a deep green and is more um, vibrant than this blurry stuff over here so I'm gonna go back over and get my arrow key I'm gonna go right below the field panel and go to the lines down button here and I'm gonna click on these three little colors here and I'm just gonna click this button here to say no outline because I don't want the red outline behind there okay so I'm gonna leave this up for a minute because I'm gonna need it again but I'm actually going to click on the field panel though first Okay, so now what I want to do is get the white outline here. Now I can just go ahead and do a white circle and then <clears throat> put that white circle over that and then just have everything just white. Okay, so I can do, but I need to click on this outer circle first. And I can, I'm trying to see. So you know what? I'm just going to do click on the outer circle first. Then I'm going to click on this circle on the inside. And then I'm going to right click on it and make compound path. And I'm going to change it to white. Just get that out the way. That was quick. Okay. And I'm going to go up under there and get the line pan. Oh, click the line button style and make it white. Then I'm going to 
go drag that and go over here to the alignment tool here and click on center and vertical so it aligned that up in that circle the green circle and I'm just gonna hit right click and group that together okay now one thing before you do that I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup that if you want to change this green to a color a different color you can go ahead and click the fill panel and you can change it before you start changing any other color but I'm gonna just go ahead and change it back to the green that it was before go hit that go get my move to and yeah and I'm gonna just group that back together right click and group so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my stars and I'm gonna just group that together you can go up here and group it or you can right click and group it is up to you I'm gonna just go here and bring it here I think that's okay and I'm gonna change that to let me move this over um, white and the outline no outline okay so now what I want to do is get this the white circle that's inside of that now I know some people might say that I could have just um, did a big white circle here and keep kept these open and that way it would have uh, came through this white here but I don't want to do that I'm gonna go ahead and just go and right click and make this a compound path change it to white and be done with it and do the same thing to this one making sure I get that and make compound path white do the fill in where you go Do the fill in and go. And doing a compound path, that way you don't have to group it later. So it all stays together. And then it opens this up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this circle here. Go ahead and change that to white. And this is the one that you have to do the outline for. No outline. And I want to. So I'm just going to click on the circle and click on this. I don't want to click on the letters or anything because I don't want it to shift with that. So I'm getting ready to go to a line, center, vertical. Okay. So now we have that. So now all I have to do is drag this over, right click, make compound path, do the panel. Field panel here, click, and lines, no outline, and we can move it there, right there. And like I said, you can change the color of the green before you put all this stuff on. That's up to you. And if you haven't grouped everything together, you can change it then. And I forgot to drag it all the way down. And then you can right click group and you have your new image I'm gonna bring this to the front right click to bring it to the front to into the back but I'm going to bring it to the front and now you can see the difference let me see if I can zoom in you see the difference okay so that's it for how to recreate an image that may be blurry now this is a good one because it has layers because you can see the layers you see the white you see the uh, white ring around here then you have your yellow I mean your green then you have your black so these are layers sometimes you can't do this if you don't have separate layers here so thank you for watching until then I'll see you in my next videos be safe stay blessed and bye